For the initial debut of its new F430, Ferrari has lined up a whole armada of cars. An awesome yet very seductive sight. The Formula One champs have now produced a new masterpiece. It's time for us to take it out for a spin. The impressions you get driving the F430? G-forces tugging at you, shiny eyes, the engine shouts, gear up for plenty of pulling power. In four seconds, 490 horsepower catapult both man and machine to a speed of 100 and into a completely different dimension. Enzo Ferrari would have adored this experience. Time to bring this 315 km per hour rocket to a halt to admire the stunning styling, courtesy of Pinin Farina. Inside a glass showcase, sheltered from the elements yet so near, the new V8. Never before has Ferrari injected so much Formula One racing technology into a car made for the street. Around the inner ring of the steering wheel, you find all the important controls. The most interesting, the so-called Manettino, the five-stage chassis setting. It's great to pass the time just taking in all the beauty of the F430, but it's not long before you get that itch to hop in and drive her. In tuning the car, Ferrari had one of the best to help. World champion Michael Schumacher personally helped give the F430 its extremely neutral handling. It's easy to put your trust in a car with such a respectable price. In Germany, it sells for more than 150,000 euros. That's without any extras. Its supple and swift semi-automatic transmission costs an additional five-figure sum. Fiorano, the Ferrari test site. The Formula One team is just packing everything together, and test driver Luca Badoer is about to call it a day. The F430 has completed countless test laps and beaten the record lap time of the 360 Modena by three seconds. Whether that will be enough to beat its arch rival, the Lamborghini Gallardo, remains to be seen. One thing's for sure, though, it's tough having to give back a car like the F430. Yeah. 